everybody. If you love to read, then follow my lead. It's S T O R Y T I M E. Story time with S A N D I. Story time, Sandy. Snore, 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 all day long. Snore, snore, snore. Oh, <laughs> hi there, little readers. Do you know anyone who snores real loud just like midnight? You know. <laughs> your mom and your dad? Oh, no. <laughs> well, how about we stop the snoring and we wake up midnight so we can all read a story together? Yes? Okay, ready? On the count of three. One, two, three! Sleep, be midnight, please wake up fast. We'd like to read a story from the past. I said, sleep, be midnight, please wake up fast. We'd like to read a story from the past. Say it with me, sleep, be midnight, please wake up fast. We'd like to read a story from the past. <laughs> Little readers, you did it! Midnight's awake! Here we go! <laughs> Whee! Okie dokie, Midnight! What story did you find for us to read today? Monkey Stuff by Rebecca Bielowski. What a cute monkey! Are you ready to read? Let's turn the page in one, two, three. One, there was a cow. She had one bell. She always wore it, but then one day, well, a little monkey, brown and cheeky, stole that bell because he was sneaky. <gasps> there he goes with the bell. Two, there was a dog. He had two bones. Sometimes one buries what one owns. So he dug a hole in the ground and buried his bones, that digging hound. But that same little monkey came back around. <gasps> oh no! Those aren't bones. Those are bananas. Three. There was a bird. Three eggs she laid. Nearby that nest she always stayed. That rascal monkey snuck up one day, snatched those eggs, and ran away. Four. There was a pony with four horseshoes. They were items that she could not lose. Nevertheless, one summer evening, the monkey stole them and danced while leaving. Yikes! Well, that's not very nice. Five. There was a baker. He baked five buns, those light and tasty, crispy ones. The monkey appeared and took the lot, then ran off juggling them. They were hot! Six. There was an ant. Six slippers she wore. They kept her feet cozy on the cold dirt floor. The monkey took them and didn't think. He didn't expect that they would stink. The ant has smelly feet. <laughs> seven, there was a princess. She wore seven pearls to make her look better than the other girls. That monkey thief was lurking and some naughtiness was being planned. <gasps> Do you see? He has her pearls. I wonder what will happen next. Eight, a crocodile. He loved to smile. He had eight teeth, but one night while he was in bed, the monkey crept, his fingers stealing as the reptile slept. He's gonna steal his teeth! Oh my! Nine! Nine apples grew upon a tree, red and crispy and so juicy! But someone came a swinging through and grabbed those apples. Can you guess who? That's right, little readers. The monkeys who. Ten. Ten hairs were in the lion's mane. He combed them often. He was vain. 
that pesky monkey was looking on one single snip and those hairs were gone. <gasps> He's bold now. There was a monkey. He had lots of stuff, but he never seemed to have enough. He had one cowbell, two bones, three eggs, four horseshoes, five buns, six slippers, seven pearls, eight teeth, nine apples, and ten hairs. Do you think you can remember all that? Everyone had lost something of theirs. But the monkey felt a bit bad inside. Because of him, a cow had cried. In the end, the things were returned. Mom said, no stealing, and the lesson was learned. The end. The story's all done. I hope you had fun with S-T-O-R-Y-T-I-M-E Storytime with S-A-N-D-I Storytime Sandy. Midnight and I sure do love reading with all of you. <gasps> you know what else we would love to read? A special secret message written just by you. So grab a grown up and ask them to help you write a message for us down below. And hey, before you go, let's read another story together. All you have to do is click that box right there. Let's go! Well, aren't you coming? Come on, click the box and I'll see you in the next story.